this place. Somebody bless his name in this place. I, I, I believe that God got a word for somebody. If you got a word for somebody in this place this morning. If you have your Bible, let's turn to the book of First King, chapter 17. First King, chapter 17. We're going to start with verses 7 and go down to verses 14. First King, chapter 7, chapter, chapter 17, verses 7, verses 7 through 14. Amen. amen. If you have it, say amen. 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 You don't have to stand. You don't want to. I'm going to start with verses 7. I'm reading from the, uh, the NIV King James Study Bible. My word may be different from your word if you have the King James Version. But it's read, Sometime later the brook dried up because there would have been no rain in the land. Then the word of the Lord came to him, go at once to Zagaphat in the range of Sodom and stay there. And I have directed a widow there to supply you with food. So he went to Zagaphat and, he, and when he came to the town gate, a widow was there gathering sticks. He called to her and said and, and, and asked, Will you bring me a little water in a jar so I may have a drink? As she was going to get it, he called, and bring me, please, a piece of bread. And as surely as the Lord your God live, she replied, I do not have any bread, only a handful of flour in a jar and a little olive oil in a jar. I am gathering a few sticks to take home and make a meal for myself, my son, that we may eat, eat it and die. And Elijah said to her, don't be afraid. Go home and do as you have said. But first make a small loaf of bread for me from what you have and bring it to me, to me, and to me and then make something for yourself and your son. For this is what the Lord, the Lord of Israel said, the jar of flour will not be used up and the jar of oil will not run dry until the day, of the, until the, day the Lord send rain on the land. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, neighbor. Your, drought your drought is over. Is over. Look at your other neighbor. Say, neighbor, neighbor. Now, your drought it's over. it's over. Let's give God a hand clap of praise. Your drought, your drought is over. Don't nobody in this room can tell me that you want to experience a drought. Because drought can cause problems. Droughts can cause situations. It can cause problems in the home. It can cause problems on the job. On the job. Have you ever experienced working on a job, then the job began to experience a drought? Yes. More time when job experience a job, somebody drought, somebody will get laid off. Yeah. And that drought gonna take effect on their life. It's gonna take effect on their life because, is it, because nothing is moving. Nothing coming in and nothing going out. Everything is dry. Now, my thing is that the children of Israel, the covenant people of God, is right now experience, experience a drought. Now, how could you be connected with God and God connect with you, but yet, right now, you are experiencing a drought? You know, the children, I'm talking about the children of Israel. Now, now I understand the Gentile people experience a drought because they have no connection with God. They don't have no connection with resource. They'll have no connection with the blessings, and they're not part of a covenant, a arrangement that God has made with the people. But the children of Israel right now experience a what? A drought. 
they experienced a drought. Now God brought them across the Red Sea, fed them uh, food from he heaven, fed them manna from heaven, gave them water from a rock, brought down the water of Jericho for these covenant people. But right now, they are experiencing a what? A drought. You know, it, it kind of questions me, why are these people, your chosen people, God, your people that you have chosen from so many people in that land, why, God, are they experiencing a drought? You know what God told me? That they took my blessings for granted. They took my blessings for granted. You know they stopped celebrating me in the blessing. Sometimes when God bless us, we forget all about God. But you've got to understand the Lord gives and the Lord take it away. He said, that's why the, my chosen people was experienced a drought because they stopped blessing me in the blessing. Mm -hmm. They left me out. The bless I blessed them with the house. They used to bring me in the house with them. We begin, begin to celebrate <laughs> in the house. But now they leave me at the front door. And, and, they, and, and, and it's such thing that we slam the door in God's face. Oh, yeah. we, we're telling God that I don't need you no more. I got the blessing, but I don't need you no more. You know, then, 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 then when God blesses with the car that we've been laboring for, that we've been praising for, that we've been going to Sunday school for, that we've been going to church every Sunday for, when God blesses us with the car, now we're riding God in the car, but now we, since we got beside ourselves, we don't want God to ride in the car with us. We don't want God to ride in the car because we feel like that we don't need you no more, God. But the Lord gives, and the Lord Take away. I'm, now, I'm talking about church folks now. Uh, no, I, I'm not talking about people outside of God. I'm talking about people that are inside of Christ. Though, though that Christ have been blessing, but they begin to take his blessing for granted. Mm -hmm. they, they, they stop celebrating God mm -hmm. in the blessing. And this is what the children of Israel, have, have that spirit come over to our generation also? Mm -hmm. Have people stopped celebrating God mm -hmm. like God wants to be celebrated? Huh? People stop praising God like God wants to be praised. People stop worshiping God like God wants to be worshipped because they begin, begin to be what? Get side by side of themselves. I don't need you no more, God. But you got to understand the Lord bless you and the Lord will take it away from you. And, 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 this, what, and this is what the Israel will be experiencing a takeaway. They experience a takeaway. Because they didn't want to give, so God said, I'm going to take. So you don't want to celebrate me in the blessing? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the blessing away from, from you. Mm -hmm. That's why it's important that we do not take God for, for granted. And do not take what he bless us with mm -hmm. for granted. But we celebrate God in all things. Mm -hmm. Give God thanks. In all things, in, in, in the Bible, and, and it tells us that the children of Israel stopped giving God thanks because they did not have a leader. Mm -hmm. Ahab was no leader. He was the worst king that Israel ever had. See, it's important that you have a good leader. Amen. See, if you got a bad leader, it's bad things going to happen. It's very, and Ahab was a great, a bad leader. He was the worst king that Israel ever had. Because why he went away? Because who he connected himself with. Who he connected himself with? Jezebel. Gave him bad knowledge. Gave him bad wisdom. They, then they begin to serve the, the gods of Baal. They, they begin to worship other gods. Because you got to watch who you connect yourself with. You got to be wise who you hang with. Because they'll take you away from your God. They will take you away from your resource. Yes, they, will. they will take you away from your, your blessing. Then you wonder, well, how did I get here? Yes. Mm -hmm. all right now. My life used to be on all the time, but my life is off now. Because God took the resource from you. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Yes. Because he is your reward. He is your great reward. And he is your blessing. Yes, is. But Israel, Israel did not realize that at the time. Because they did not have a good leader. They did not have a good leader. And they were following somebody that was not good. You see what I'm saying? That's why, that's, why, that's, why, that's why it's good for us as men and women of God to learn the word for ourselves. Amen. To learn the word for ourselves. You don't know the word, you'll follow anything. 
you get in that you begin 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 to be in that get in that trap. You got to have a, a, a teacher that's going to teach you the word of God and he's going to stand, not only teach you, but going to stand on the principle himself. Uh, the principle of herself. Amen. Stand on the principle. Because Ahab did not stand on the principle of the word of God. Amen. He started being, how, being a temples and houses for the God of Baal. Yes, he did. Then what God did was God used his servant his servant not Elijah, yeah. to speak a word in the universe. Because you got to understand, your voice is greater than your position. Yes, it is. You may have a position, but you don't have no voice. Because you ain't got no power to move nothing. Right. See, it's not all about your position, it's about what you have in you. That can remove mountains in you that can change situations. See, even though Ahab had a position, but yet he did not have a voice. Because the man of God, the man of God is the one who had the voice. Because why I say he had the voice? Because he said, it will not rain, nor do unto my word. He didn't say unto God's word, but he said, in, until my word, because he knew that he was a representative of God, that God gave him authority to speak to the universe. Amen. See, see, that's my thing there. We always crying to God, and God said, didn't I give you authority? Yeah. Yeah. Did, did, didn't I give you the authority to speak in his life? Then I get the authority to speak in her life. Then I get the authority to, to, to remove mountains. I gave you that authority. So exercise your authority in what I gave you. Oh, wow. Yeah. Elijah had the authority to speak to the heavens and tell the heavens to, to cease to rain. And Elijah had the keys to tell the heavens, don't rain. Don't rain. No matter, but, but you got to understand. Not only the drought brought judgment to Israel, but the drought played another part. Because Baal had a, a rain god. Yes, they, uh -huh. they had a rain god. Uh -huh. And they went to the rain god. Yes, they, did. they bowed down to the rain god. All right, now. But there was no resource, there was no more rain. Because that tells me that the word of God, yes. Baal is powerless to the word of God. Amen. So you got to understand, whatever condition it is, it, your condition is powerless to the word of God. Because God, I gave you a word. When the doctor says you sick, your word, my word, says you heal. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Tell it. Come on now. Huh? All right. Now. But now what report do you want to believe? Mm. I'm going to believe the report of the Lord. Amen. If I'm here yeah. with his faith, I'm here. Let right. me he say, you wounded for what? Hallelujah. Bruised for my what? My iniquities. And the check time of people, what? Upon him. And with his faith, I'm what? I'm here. I'm set free. Yeah. And that was the word of the Lord. Said. The Lord's words have more than the common. Right. I can do all things right through Christ who what? Right. Who strengthened me. That no weapon formed against me shall what? Awesome. Uh, now all things may not look good, but he said that what? Everything will work out for the good. Yeah. And I got to walk in the pen on that what? That word. Even though my situation may get worse, yeah. but the word is still the same. Still the same. Still the same. Still the same. What happened? When your situation get worse mm. before they get better. Come on. What happened? What, how would you think when your situation get worse mm -hmm. before they get better? What kind of mindset that you have? Yeah. That just, your situation, this thing ain't getting no better. Oh. This thing ain't getting no better. This thing ain't getting worse. Oh. Are you going to throw in the towel? No. Yeah. Are you going to depend on God's word? Are you going to go the distance? Are you going to go the distance? Are you going to go the distance? Are you going to depend on God's word? Are you going to throw in the towel? You going to tell, tell God enough is enough. Enough is enough. See, he had a word. And the word that he had was close up and don't open until I say so. Close up and don't open to I say so. No matter what your supervisor, no matter who owned the plane, who supervised you, if you a woman, 
a man of God, your word, your voice is greater than their position. Yes, Amen. Because you are the one that's holding that place together. Come on. Because of you. Yes. Joseph. Yes. Help, help Egypt together. Mm -hmm. yes, he because of Joseph. Yes. Because of Joseph. Yes. Egypt was blessed because Amen. of what? Of Joseph. Amen. Things were happening to Egypt because of what? Of Joseph. It's not about Pharaoh. Amen. It was all about the soldiers. It was all about Joseph being in that place. Amen. So you got to look at your name and say, Nate, you got a voice. Amen. You got a voice. And God wants, God wants the sister and brother, God wants to use that authority that he's given us. God said, why are you continuing to cry to me? I gave you something that you can use. I gave you the authority. I gave you the key, so use it. Yes. Huh? We're going to go buy a brand new house. And, 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 and the bank don't give you the keys. Amen. The key for the owner to unlock the house. Yes. Amen. You can't go in the house without the keys. Hallelujah. You got a voice. Yes. But but you gotta understand also, the Bible told, the word of God told Elijah, he said, leave them people. Yes. Told Elijah to leave. Get it out of there. That table is here. The word of God do not depend on the people. Amen. But the people depend on the word of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We depend on the word. The word of God will depend on us. And we depend on the word of what? Of God. When God told Elijah to leave, the word left. And when the word leaves, when 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 the shadow leaves the temple, and nothing happened. Amen. And nothing go on. Things will show up get worse now. Oh, yes. You had a little word, but the word is gone. He said, go, the word that go, now this, this, this thing here is, is, is wonderful. The words that go to a brook. And what I did, that God, God had talked to his man of God. He said, what I did, see, even though I got a drought over him, because you are the man of God, the drought not going to affect you. It's not going to, it's not going to affect you. So don't worry about the drought. So what I want you to do, go over to this brook. He said, go to, to this brook that I already had direct a raven. Yeah, tell it now. I direct a raven yeah. to bless you. Yeah. To feed you. Yeah. Uh, I'm talking about a raven is a road kill animal. Yes, yeah. he is. He's a road, but God said he had to obey my command. Yeah. He's not going to bring you nothing. Ah, oh, sour. Why are you going to bring your fresh food? Yeah. See, when God do it, he do it right. Yeah. All right. Come when on. God do it, he do it right. Yes. And the raven, I believe the raven was glad All right. to be a servant mm -hmm. of the yeah. most high God. Come on, yeah. come on. Uh, because he said, if you don't do it, I got more, I got 500 more ravens ready for, for my command. Yeah. Because if, oh, I, if I bless the man of God, the man of God going to bless me. All right. He told the raven, and this is what I like about it. Come on. He said, he said, now, don't only feed him one time, yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to feed him twice a day. Yeah. All right. Because this man of God is sitting at the, the table of kings. Yeah, yeah. He's sitting at, at my table because, because, because most people don't eat meat, not even once a day. Common people don't eat meat. That more, that what that that tell me that, that, that Elijah was, was more than common. Yeah. So you got to understand, you are more than common. Yeah. You, you, are, you are a king child. Yeah. You are royalty. Yeah. You are yeah. a great priesthood. Yeah. Now, yeah. Now, uh, that's who you are. Yeah. That's why God, I feed you twice a day. Yeah. Not only I feed you twice a day, but I bring the, the best food to you. Uh, you, you see that at my table. Yeah. Uh, anybody that's sitting at the table of God right now, yeah. you yeah. sitting at the table of God right now, God told Elijah. Yes, Lord. Go to the brook. Now, he said, I'm going to feed you them, and you're going to drink from the brook. Yes. I'm going to feed you there, and you're going to drink from the brook. Mm -hmm. But the, the man of God, a raven, God, you sure? Mm -hmm. He's going, he going to feed me? 
If, if, if I go, am I gonna drink from the brook? Yes, yes. If I go, yes. Now, if I go, see, I, I gotta walk by faith. Amen. Not by sight. Not Amen. by sight. Because you gotta understand, my sister and brother, there's certain places that God gonna bless you at. That's right. There's certain places that God gonna bless you at. See, you over here huh? looking for a blessing. Where God got a blessing over here. Right. So God got to do something to get, to get your attention. Yeah. What you say? Because we as people, we can get comfortable. Yeah. Yes, we do. God has blessings. Yeah. See, you over here, Brother Dawson. But God, your blessing is over here. Yeah, right. Because you're over here because you're comfortable in the flesh. Uh -huh. But you're looking for a spiritual breakthrough. Oh, God. Uh -huh. You're looking for a spiritual breakthrough. What you over here can't do. But when I get you over here, you're going to see your breakthrough. Come on. But I got to get you over there, though. Yeah, yeah. Then, 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 Elijah was getting fed two times a day in the brook, in, in, from the raven. He was drinking from the brook. Now God said, now, I got to move the man of God because I got to put him in another place. Yeah, yeah. And the Bible said that the brook dried up. Yeah, oh, that's good. Hallelujah. Oh, have mercy. See, 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 some dry, some dry places, and not for the hurt you, but for the move. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Some dry places is not for the hurt you. Uh -huh. So you might be in a dry place now. Yeah. But you gotta understand that I'm a child of God. Amen. This thing is not gonna hurt me. Yeah. This thing is God that wanna move me. Yeah. God that wanna show me some things. Mm -hmm. Because Jones ain't though he slain me. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. I'm gonna trust in him. Yes. Yeah. Elijah had to be moved. Yeah. Because he was enjoying the, the raven. Come on. Yeah. He was enjoying the brook. Yeah. <laughs> he got comfortable. Yeah. Yes. All right. He laying down. Yeah. Uh -huh. He wants to stay here. I, I, I can live like this forever. Yeah. <laughs> but forever ain't forever. All because, right. God, I got to move you. Yeah. Because I got another assignment for you to do. Come on. See, you move because of God's assignment. The heart, the, the heart of a man is made, but God perfect prevails them all. Yes, See, that's why God moved that, that sucker out of your life, because he got another assignment for you. That's why God, hey, come on now. That's why God moved out of your life, because he got another assignment for you. Uh, oh my God, because we don't hold on to a relationship if that's helpful for us. But God, I got to move him. So I'm going to I'm allow his pocket to dry up. Because you depend on his pocket for resource, but his pocket going to dry up. Oh yeah. my God, sometimes. The, the brook dried up. Yes. The brook dried up. Lord Jesus. Elijah try to get, still try to get water. No, we still try to do the same when God tells him to move. Uh -huh. yeah. Elijah still trying to get water out of the brook. So God waiting around till Elijah make his mind up. He waiting around till, till Elijah get so thirsty. All right now, talk about it now. Sometimes God make us so thirsty. Yeah. Yeah. We got to move. Yeah. Come on. We got to make our mind up. Yeah. Get us so thirsty. I heard about a prodigal son. Yeah. They put him in a swine pit. Yeah. He got so thirsty. He made his mind up, said, I don't have to live like this. I'm going to be a high servant. Yeah. I, I'm going to be a, a servant for my father. But I'm going to make my mind, I'm not going to live like this no more. Yeah. So we get so comfortable, complex, and that will be the place where God wants to yeah. So complex. Say so the boot dried up. But what I want you to do, now this thing is deep. Come on. Go to the town, Zach Van. Zach I have the wreck of wood there. Yes, yes. To bless you. All right now. Yes. Now this is going to get some of y'all. Come on. You got to understand the reason of Zach Van. Jezebel. Ahab, why? Jezebel. Jezebel. Yeah. Daddy. Ran that reason. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So God gonna send me in the heart, in the territory of Satan, yeah. and gonna bless me there. Yeah. Oh, what kind of God we serve? Yeah. He said, "Go to Zadok. Yeah. I know Zadok 
this place of that worship all the all, all of gods. Yeah. But I want you to go there. I'm gonna bless you in the midst of your enemies. What I'm like, oh my God. I want to bless you in the midst. I'm gonna prepare a table in the presence of your enemies. They got to bless you. I'm gonna see you to the hell of Satan. And he got to bless you. He got to feed you. He got to give you water. He got to close you. He got to control. I am a sovereign God. And there is no other God like me. But you step in the Zadok fact, you want me to willow. Yeah. Preach. You want me to willow. You're not going to be open. Yeah. Come on. Come on now. What you say? Shut the book up. She's not going to have a big mansion. Yeah. Amen. See, that's kind of folk we're looking for. Yeah. Some folk that can bless us like that. Yeah, yeah. We look for people like that. Yeah. Got got millions of dollars, but but she not open. She not George Miles. Uh -huh. What you say? But you gonna be a willow, dead. That Elijah being the man that he are, he went to the reason of Zephyr. And as he stepped into the town, he seen an old woman. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on. Picking up sticks. Yeah. Oh. My goodness. Somebody help me up. Yeah, yeah. Picking up more sticks. Yeah. Jesus. Come on. It's all right. Yes. With the rest of clothes on. Yeah, yeah. No shoes on. Yeah. Her feet. All right. Don't smell like. Roses. Yeah. What you All right say? Right now, watch out. Smell like she been in the swine pit. What yeah. you say? Picking up, 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 up sticks. And think about the man of God. Now, she on the verge of starvation. Mm -hmm. Now, how could a person come on be on right. the verge of starvation? Could could sustain me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can, can feed me. Come on, what you say? What you say? Seems like she need help her herself. What you say? What you say? But you something over to her? She need help. Lord, she need help her herself. She picking up sticks. Yeah. But the man of God made a reply. He said, "Woman, because we know that God not gonna leave you nowhere." If he's not gonna provide for you. What you say? What you say? Come on. He's not gonna leave you nowhere but adoption. Nowhere. Unless he provides for yes, you. Yes, sir. Yeah. It's a, it is a provision in everything that God does. Yes, There's a provision in it. Even though we don't see it. Yes. He saw a Pashanda See, he saw a woman picking up sticks. Yes. That's what he saw. Yes. But God saw greater. Yeah. In that woman yeah. that was picking up sticks. Yeah. He saw the nasty clothes. Yeah. Oh my God. Come on. Because, because, because he said, the prophet Simon came to Jesse's house. And Jesse, he passed all about David was out in the field with the sheep. Yeah. The prophet passed all about David because he felt that can't be the one. Yeah. <laughs> That can't be the one. They went to the house of Jesse. Uh -huh. And Jesse let all this boy pass by. Yeah. And the prophet said, Come here, boy, Brown. That's the one. Look at the almighty suit he got on. Yeah. Stains the and shoes on. Yeah. <laughs> Hell look good. Yeah. Mustache and beard shaped right. Yeah. Yeah. Tie ain't cricket. Yeah. Now God is the God of order. This man is in order. Yeah, yeah. See, sometimes we think that people are in order, but God say he out of order. Oh, what you yeah. say? What you say? Huh? Yeah. And then, then the, the man, the God said, he but Brown got to be the one. Mm -hmm. God said, so I'm gonna teach you something. He said, I'm not like man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what you say? <laughs> What you say? What you say? Right. Huh? He said, I'm not like man. Right. See, man look at the outer part. Yeah. But I'm God. Yeah. I'm, I look at the heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See what I'm saying? I look at the heart. Yeah. 
a man. Then the man said, you got some more. He said, I got one out there in the field. They bring them in. Then as they were coming in, you all seen that northern jaw, they were shaking. Because he knew this man, this shepherd boy, yeah. was, was connected to the anointing. Yeah, yeah. See, God, oh, my God, didn't get that. Oh, my God. Because yeah. he knew that he was connected. Anoint him. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Because he was different. Yes, he was. God, he was different. Yes. Sometimes different can, difference can help you. Yeah. Yeah. What are you saying? yeah. You can't keep keep on rejecting people that are different. Yeah. What are you yeah. Yes. Sometimes people that are different what you say? can be your greatest breakthrough. Yes, what you say? What you say? Sometimes people that are different can be your greatest miracle. Yes. Come on. What you say? What's different? And I was saying, go fetch me some water. And the woman was going to get the water. He said, hold up for a minute. Yeah, yeah. Did I mention water? Have, have anybody in the room heard anything about water before? <laughs> heard anybody in the room ever heard about water before? Oh, yeah. Well, give me a drink of water. Mm -hmm. If you knew who you're talking to, mm -hmm. you would ask me. Mm -hmm. And I'd give you a living I'll give, water. I would give you living water. Oh, yeah. 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 Elijah told the woman, say, go fetch me some water. And the woman was going to get the water. He said, he, then, then she said, he said, no one brings some water, but well, bring a piece of bread. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anybody ever heard anything about bread? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I'm the bread of life. Yes. Yes. Water. Yes. Bread. Yes. Water. Yes. Bread. Yes. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. 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 Right. How he represents Jesus. Yes. What you do to the least of my people, you yes. have done to me. Yes. Huh? Then, then, then she was going, then, then she said, now. As the Lord live, believe me, Elijah. If I had it, I would give it. Huh? Uh -huh. If I had it, but that's all I got. A handful. That's right. That's all right. A meal. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's all I got. Yeah. And a, and a handful, my brother, of all. Yeah. Yes. That's it. That's all I got. And I already made my mind up before you got here. Yes, I did. That me and my yeah. son mm -hmm. gonna eat wagon and his hand, eat this hand for and bring this hand for together. And then we're gonna eat and we're gonna die. Yeah. My mind was all made up. Do you know that God will change your mind? Yes, 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 God will change your mind. Yes, sir. Elijah, go do what you want to do. Go do it. But give it to me first. Yes. Give me a piece of bread first. Yeah. And I guarantee you, your house, your jaws, are all won't run over, won't, won't give up. Your jaws of flour won't give up. Yeah. See, it's not all about how much you have. Yeah. Okay. It's all about what you do with you, what you have. Amen. Right. What you Amen. So then, so because we got a God of increase. Yes. Yes. She yes. thought that she was, see, she made her mind up. But you got to understand what was in her hand had the power to change her mind. Yes. Yes. What she had in her hand, she do what she had in her hand right and give it to the man of God. Yes. And the man of God said, God, not going to let this thing run out. God's going to bless you, yeah. even though you got a multitude of people, yeah. but you got a little boy, got to have little loaves and little fish, yeah. but Jesus said, bring it to me, yeah. not what you're going to do with this, and Jesus went to heaven, I'm like, you just got a little bit, he said, thank you Lord for this little bit, yeah. because the little bit yeah. can be greater, yeah. oh my God, yeah. wow. multitude, yeah. hallelujah, hang up on a little bit, but no, that's all it is. I ain't got about a little bit. But you work with me? And y'all yeah. work together? Yes. God, I, I can increase it. Yes. Bless you, Jesus. I can increase it. And you, and you, and you just put it in, in my hands. See, some people say, take for granted what they have. Yes. 
And then they got to have a lot to be successful. Mm. Yeah. Y'all, you don't have to have a lot. Right. You have a little bit and you put it in the right hands. That's right. Amen. You put it in the right person's hands, God will increase it. He said, this thing won't run out until God allowed it to rain. Allowed to rain. Well, God word the truth? Yes, it is. This this she ran out? No, she didn't. Every time she ever won. I don't know how uh, then some more came in. See, that's a miracle. Yes, it is. No matter know how this thing happened to the day. When she emptied the flower out, more. Then she went back out, it was filled up again. Amen. When she emptied the oil out, went back up, it filled up again. Yeah. Because she was willing to give it. Yes. Amen. She had a faith in God. To give it. Amen. God, you got faith in me. Yeah. And you give me what I ask you for, and I guarantee you, you won't run out. Amen. Huh? Hallelujah. And you give me what I ask you for, I guarantee you, you won't run out. Because I'm the God that opened the windows of heaven and pulled out yes. a blessing that yes. you can't even receive. Yes. You got to give to other folks. Had to give to your neighbor. Had to give you sisters. Girl, y'all come on I got plenty. Because you willing to obey the word of God. Obey. She obeyed. She had faith. She had faith in the man of God. With the little bit that she had. Yes, Lord. Was the drop still there? Yes. The drop was still there. But not in her life. Amen. She experienced the drought. But the families were gone. Amen. So you might be not, we might be going to experience a drought. But I guarantee you, it won't take effect on you. What you say? Come on. Amen. As that man right there. Come on. <laughs> it won't take effect on you. Because the enemy will attack you so many ways. Yes. Yes. Attack your mind, your body, and your soul. So many yes. ways. Yes. You're on the edge of giving up. You see about three or four nickels on the table. Yeah. And God said, take them nickels. Take that dime. Mm -hmm. Go to church. Mm -hmm. Put it in the offering plate. Yeah. Yeah. You see everybody up putting hundreds and fifties in and twenties in. You yeah. got 15 cents. Put it in there. Mm -hmm. And somebody knocking on your door with a whole car full of groceries. Yeah. You call that widow to obey God. That's yeah. what you're Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> you say. Hallelujah. Because you are willing to obey it God. Happens. You willing to give God that faith. Oh, yes, it is. Yes. Huh? Oh, yes. Huh? Oh, yes. And, 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 and when, when that happened, the woman was going through her, on her sofa looking for more money. <laughs> that she can go care back next Sunday. <laughs> looking all through, all through cars and looking out on the ground that she can have none. If God can do this this Sunday, if I put more 15 cents in that Sunday, he can do the same thing. Yes, Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. What a word. What a word. The drought is over. It's not all about my brother and sister how much you have or how much you make. It's what you do what you make. Amen. I have guys, young guys on my job. They fussing about how much they making. How much this is, how much that making, how much you making, how much you making. I said, it ain't all about how much y'all make, young man. It's all about how what you do what you make. Amen. You might make four hundred dollars a week. It's all about what you do with it. Yes, it is. You can't go do it or uh, uh, serve the world with it. Cause you don't get a worldly blessing. That's right. But you serve God with it. You'll get a spiritual blessing. That's right. Yes. Hallelujah. It's not all about how much you make. It's all about what you do. Because they want to have a little, 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 a little meal mm -hmm. and a little oil. Uh -huh. And what God did for her. Yes. The drought was still there, but she had never experienced a family. Mm -hmm. house never stopped running over with oil. Mm -hmm. Huh? Because that was the kind of God we serve. Yeah. Amen. I'm just here to encourage somebody. What kind of God do you serve? Oh, yes. You just bring a little bit in it. A little Amen. bit. Like Pastor said, you just come in the church. You don't have nothing, just come to church. Let God, if I had it, I would put in it. And I guarantee you, God will bless you. Yes, yes. He will bless you. He will bless you. You don't have it, God understands. 
But if you're just a faithful servant, huh? Amen. And you be faithful in what? A few things. A what? Maybe what? Ruler over many things. Just be faithful, man. Women and men of God, just be faithful. And I guarantee you, God will be faithful to you. Because he's not a God, he should not lie. He's the son of man, he should repent. God has spoken. God, God will do it. Just be faithful. Because like we want the world, 